Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can both find and create current top tier meta corrupted dungeon builds. But before we get into that, have you ever wanted to get really good at corrupted dungeons or maybe reach the highest level of crystal GVGs? Well, then you should check out the sponsor of this video, Esports Academy. Esports Academy is a podcast and video series dedicated to helping people get better at video games and reach a professional level. Really, it's more intended for esports, so not games like Albion, but it can definitely apply to games like Albion as well. It's really informative, interesting, and very high quality, so if you're interested in anything like that, make sure you check it out. You can search for Esports Academy on any podcasting platform or follow the links in the description. Okay, so for this video, we're going to be using a website called Murder Ledger from MurderLedger.com. Essentially, this is a website that uses Albion's API to get data from Corrupted Dungeons to see what people are playing and who's winning and all that sort of stuff. Okay, so let's start with how you can find some top tier Corrupted Dungeon builds. So one of the best pages on this entire website is you go to build stats here and you can sort by usages. And this is really amazing because it essentially tells you what people are currently running in Corrupted Dungeons. So you can look at the um, build stats here, make sure you sort by usages to get the most popular builds. And then you can see which builds are being run the most and which ones are winning more. So what I would do is I'd probably look for builds with around like 60% plus win Win rate. So go to the win rate column here, look for 60% plus and look for like popular builds. And you'll probably get builds that are relatively easy to play and quite effective in the meta winning most of their matchups. Um, it's also important to keep in mind to look at the IP here on the side, the average IP of people running these builds. Uh, they're usually from around 1300 to 1400. So uh, let's see, there's like a 1400 here. Yeah, Tomb Hammer has a 67% win rate, but it's a 1400 IP build. So you might have to run a little bit higher IP if you choose to go with like this Tomb Hammer build here. So let's look through these a little bit. Um, so the first one, 61% on the Trinity Spear build here. This is a really classic one. That's always a pretty good build to go with. Uh, another one hand dagger, one shot build. Of course, good win rate on that one. Um, let's see, we got a Badon, a Cursed Skull, classic builds there. Tomb Hammer. 76 percent win rate oh that's on how it fall though classic how it fall with like the never lose strategy also over 1400 ip um so yeah you essentially just look i would just look through here and look for sort of weapons or builds that you think would be interesting look at all the ones with like a 60 percent plus win rate uh so let's scroll down here a little more what else is a good win rate Oh, there's another cursed with another really high win rate it's like i think that's actually the exact same build almost shadow color this time instead of the cursed skull um Let's see, yeah, they essentially have the exact same build. So it looks like a general good build could be if you like playing Cursed Stabs, either Cursed Skull or Shadow Collar with this sort of Mercenary Jacket, Spectre Hood, Royal Boots, and Martlock Cape build. Okay, so let's say then that I decide that, okay, yeah, Cursed Skull build or a Cursed Staff in general looks good. I want to sort of try a build like this. What can be helpful then is to actually go up to the top here and just filter by that weapon to get some different options for builds. So let's search up for Cursed Skull here. You can see there's around like four builds that are currently in circulation for the Cursed Skull. They all have good win rates. And let's see, they pretty much all actually look very, very similar. It's the Merc or the yeah, the mercenary jacket for every single build. It's either Royal Boots or Demon Boots. And that's pretty much always Spectre Hood. And maybe you can run Cleric Cow. And then there's the Keeper Cape, but mostly Mark Law Cape. So really, this is like the most popular one that uses um, the most recurring amount of items here. But really, if let's say you don't have any spec in leather hoods or something and you want another option, you can use a cleric cow and it's still probably going to be pretty good although a specter is probably going to be a little bit more ideal now what's really great about murder ledger is after you have a sort of weapon or build that you have in mind it's actually really good at also teaching you how to play that weapon so if i go up and go to either vods or leaderboard now so let's start with vods i can look for cursed skull matchups in corrupted dungeons and find them on twitch to see how these players played the matchup so i'm going to search by battle size 1v1 to make sure i get corrupted dungeons and weapon again cursed skull and what this is going to do is going to be show me all of the fights recently of people that have their Twitch accounts linked to this website that have played a Cursed Skull matchup in a Corrupted Dungeon. So you can see here, if you want to get the Cursed Skull perspective, you have to make sure the Twitch streamer is the one with this icon next to them. So in this first matchup, uh, the one head dagger, you'll have the one head dagger perspective against the Cursed Skull and they lose. So you can look at that if you want. Let's look for one where it's the Cursed Skull perspective. Um, there's some Stalker ones here. Any Slayer ones? You might have to search for a little bit. Oh yeah, right here. So there's a cursed versus cursed matchup here where a cursed skull plays against a one-handed. Um, 
looks like Cursed Skull versus a Claymore. So maybe I want to look at this Cursed Skull versus Claymore matchup here to see how I would play this matchup. So you can click on this little Twitch icon on the very left here, and it will take you to a Twitch VOD where the fight is taking place. Uh, you might have to rewind it around a little bit because it doesn't know exactly when the fight starts. So you find the start of the fight, and you can see how the streamer played this fight out and how they won which can be really, really helpful for learning the weapon. It can also be helpful to go to the leaderboard. So we go back, uh, whoops, here, and we go to the leaderboard. I can also search by Cursed Skull players on the leaderboard. And oh, look at that, the very first guy is actually a Twitch streamer. So I could go and click this link and go to this Twitch streamer's channel and then maybe follow him so that whenever he plays or he's online and is playing Cursed Skull, I can go and watch him live and maybe even ask questions and things like that. And you can also just look at uh, these players and see what the very top Cursed players uh, builds are using and stuff like that. So this, uh, this guy is actually using an Undead Cape, which is a little bit different from the builds that we saw in the most popular builds, but maybe if a top player is playing an Undead Cape, it gives you more options to maybe try something like an Undead Cape as well. Now, another thing that Murder Ledger provides that can be really helpful for learning a weapon is learning a sort of matchup. So if we go over to the Weapon Matrix tab here, the last tab, we can see uh, sort of a, the win rates between different weapon matchups. So let's search for the Cursed Skull again. Uh, right here and we can essentially see what its win rate is like against a variety of different other weapons now this isn't gonna be perfect because it's essentially taking all data so it doesn't really take like skill or anything into account but judging from the general win rates we can generally get a, a decent idea of how it does against different types of weapons so for example if I were to look at this here I could say that ooh, maybe against like axes it has a really good match so it's good against a great axe there any other axes bear paws again 85% win rate so it seems like it's a pretty good weapon to go against axes with yeah battle axe another 76 percent um but let's look anything low like a healing staff so maybe maybe a little 60 percent is on the lower side um any other healing staffs healing staff 51 percent against that healing staff uh where's more Ooh, 35 against shadow color um 29 against the holy staff 52 percent against the hall of fall which is i mean these are all like decent win rates because they're above 50 but compared to the rest of them they're pretty low so i would say generally speaking I would be a little bit wary of going against healing staffs and corrupted dungeons with this build because it looks to be a little bit on a weaker matchup side compared to something like axes so really you can look at this to sort of learn just in general which matchups might be good for you and which might be bad for you now another thing that murder ledger can be very helpful for is if you're maybe someone that likes innovating a little bit more in creating their own builds murder ledger can also be super helpful for giving you some data to work with to help create a build that's going to do well so same thing as the last time if we go to build stats here and we just look at the most popular builds essentially you can get a general picture of the things you're most likely to come up against so let's look at maybe i want to play slayer cover dungeons look for stalker sorry let's look at stalker this time i can sort of get the general landscape of things i'm going to go up against and like look at this this is crazy the top five builds in stalker crypto dungeons right now are black hands black hands death givers death givers black hands so essentially, if I go into a Stalker Corrupted Dungeon and create a build that's weak against Black Hands and Death Givers, I'm not going to have a fun time. So I immediately know if I'm going to be creating a build, I want it to be good against Black Hands and Death Givers if I want to have fun and not just get rolled by a ton of noobs that are playing these builds. So after you get a general idea of the landscape and what you're gonna be facing, this page can also be really helpful for giving you some starting ideas for your build. So let's go to back to Slayer here. And let's go, to, let's keep it on usages here. What I find really helpful with this is you can find items in particular slots that are very strong in the current meta or like a little bit overpowered right now. So for example, if we look at each slot individually of the most popular items you see, so let's look at the helmet slot. We have like a mage cow, fiend cow, royal helmet, assassin hood, cleric robe, or cleric helm, Star, or specter hood essentially there's a wide variety of helmets that people are using so that might give us that might not give us sorry a great idea of what i would want to use in my helmet slot to sort of start my build however if we look at like the boots slot on the other hand we can see that royal boots right now are really op and so maybe i should consider using some royal boots because if we look at all of these top builds we have royal boots royal boots royal boots royal boots royal boots royal boots 
braille boots they're everywhere right and we can even go back up to like win ratio and see uh sort of by the highest winning and wow look even more royal boots royal boots royal boots royal boots they're pretty much all royal boots so i can look at this data and say okay royal boots are probably pretty op right now so i'm gonna start with royal boots in my build and work from there the last thing that I like to do when creating a new Crafted Dungeon build like this is to head over to the leaderboard here and just see what the, sort of the top players of Crafted Dungeons are playing to get some more ideas for the build. So let's look at the very top guy here. It looks like he plays two hammer. Uh, make sure you sort by uh 1v1s so make sure you don't get any other ones and it looks like he's playing like the super standard tomb hammer build he's got royal boots again there mage cow uh, maybe let's go to someone else maybe i don't like tomb hammer we can go back to the leaderboard and find somebody else to look at mm, let's say i like playing eh but on's pretty interesting he streams on twitch as well which would be interesting you can start to watch it so let's click on this guy what is he playing uh go back to 1v1s and he's playing Badon with a Cleric Cowl, a Mercenary Jacket, again, Royal Boots, Thetford Cape. Looks like he has some omelets there and healing potions and resist potions, things like that. So I can just get some more ideas. If I even have a idea of sort of maybe a weapon that I am interested in making a build for, let's, let's say that I think that um, a Warbow might be good against the Black Hands and Death Givers that I'm going to see a lot of. So I start for Warbo here, and I can see what the top Warbo player is playing. Uh, this guy is ranked 16th or something. Go make sure you over. This is a obviously a ZVZ build, so make sure you start by 1v1. And what is Warbo build he's playing? He's playing a Guardian helmet, Assassin jacket, Scholar sandals, a Thetford cape, and it looks like he has, generally speaking, healing potions. You want to be a little bit careful about looking at the food here, because obviously he's not running cabbage soup when he fights, and he's probably also not running uh, this Frostbeak Jedi every fight either. It's probably only against CC matchups. So you can probably scroll a little bit and maybe find what food he's using. Um, but generally you might have to think about that one yourself but essentially this just helps you get more ideas for weapons and builds and things like that that are the top tier players are using so you can know that they're probably at least pretty good and that you can get ideas from okay so that's all for this video on how to find and create the current top tier meta crafted dungeon builds i hope you enjoyed it murderledger.com amazing tool for you to use again link is in the description and i will see you in the next video right in the